Hi, I'm Dennis with The Garage Engineer, and today I'm going to show you how I install my favorite dresser feet. So today in the workshop, we're working on a custom piece. This is our honeycomb dresser, which I've been showing on Instagram, but I did want to show you a part that uh, I like that might be helpful for other people. Uh, when you're installing the feet onto the bottom of your dresser or other type of furniture, there's different styles of attaching it. One could be a plate that just attaches to the bottom of it and it's 90 degrees uh, to the dresser. Another could be one that's off center, a couple degrees, so it gives the feet an angled look. Um, others can be just a simple, uh, it has a lag uh, screw, which this doesn't, it, the uh, lag screw kind of looks like this but has a point on the end of the screw and you just screw it right directly into there. And some actually have a, uh, a countersink nut inside the foot and then you drill the bolt through the uh, bottom of the dresser into there. But this is one I have today. This is a walnut uh, foot. It's six inches in length, has a brass bottom, and it comes with this uh, bracket. Uh, but the issue with this bracket, you can't just slap it on there because you've got to recess the uh, threaded part into the dresser. And also the other issue is that it has a raised part so that it uh, will create a flat bottom so when you screw into your foot all the way up it, it sits flush. But the problem that causes is that you have to recess this little raised part. So today I'm going to show you how we're going to fix that. Now the base of my dresser is three quarters of an inch Baltic birch and this uh, threaded part is also three quarters of an inch so we're gonna have to end up trimming this so it doesn't go all the way through because we don't want to show any protrusions on the inside part of the dresser same thing goes for uh, our bracket we're gonna have to recess the threaded part uh, on the about a half an inch into the dresser and we'll have to go a little bit farther just so that the uh, thread parts can protrude past this point so you see we got about the black part is half an inch and then this is three quarters of an inch so we don't want to go all the way through so we might just end up cutting like one thread above the black so it's about five eighths of an inch um, and then we're going to drill holes probably five eighths of an inch also uh, that deep I want the foot to be three quarters of an inch from the edge from the side edge and from the top and also this is a two inch in diameter uh, foot so that means I'll just do one inch from the center and then three quarters of an inch to the outside, so an inch and three quarters, and that's where I'll make my mark as my center point for where the foot needs to go. And that gives you my crosshair of where I want to be. So it's an inch and three quarters down and to the side. So here we are going to drill our pilot hole. But I've added a blue flag on here that's at five eighths deep so that we don't go all the way through to the other side. Alright, here's our 7 16 bit and now we're just going to follow that pilot hole carefully and then we've got a blue tape to mark our 5 eighths of an inch deep. And you see how the drill bit does, didn't bounce when you start it because it followed the pilot hole. So now we can just do a quick test to make sure the center diameter is uh, wide enough for it to fit and it fits in there. Uh, it's not bottoming out uh, in the hole. You see the gap right here? So that is the uh, part that's raised up that I showed you earlier on the back side that we've got to uh, create a recession in it so that it can sit flush. So to do that is we're going to use a Forstner bit. This is 7 eighths of an inch. It'll be big enough for a clearance. But the issue that I have is you can't just, once you have a hole, you can't just put a Forstner bit or it'll just walk around. So the trick is, is we're going to make a template. Um, this is two different sizes, but that we just drill, take the Forstner bit, drill it straight through, and this is going to be your uh, guide. That's all this is. So we just need to line this up, and we're centering it to the hole that we've already created. And once that's done, just take a bracket, moved on us. And now with your Forstner bit, you can do it two different ways. If you could just go ahead and just drill as deep as you want, 
but I want a little bit more precision. So what we're going to do is just, we're going to get it started and get it just a little bit, just deep enough so that it, it, it makes a seat for it. And then we're going to re remove the, uh, tent, uh, the guide and then we can, then I can see better of how deep we're going to go with this. So after taking the bracket off, you see we've got a little bit of a, a saddle here, a, a, an edge. That's going to be just enough for uh, to guide the Forstner bit farther down. Now the reason I took it off is because I want to be able to see how deep I'm going. With the guide, you can't see how, how deep it's going because the guide's in the way. So after fine tuning our hole, we just take our bracket and you just slide it up in there and it, it sits pretty, pretty close to flush. So now we just repeat this process for the other four legs. Now that we have all the brackets installed, let's go ahead and get the feet on here and we'll set it up and take a look at how she stands. Once the feet have been installed, they're good and tight. Now make sure when you lift it up, uh, you don't put any pressure on the feet because then you'll snap them. Uh, they're strong, but sometimes they won't take the force of uh, you hitting it, leveraging on them. So uh, what I do is I slide it to the end of the table on its back, and then I kind of then I lean it up. And there you have the installation of the walnut with the brass feet. They go on to our mid-century modern uh, cabinet. You, it doesn't look like it now, but we have the drawer front set. Uh, it's really going to tie it all together. Really, I really like these. These are a great type of feet. If you like it, you can check in our comments, and there's an Amazon link to the exact feet that I use. Uh, they're an affiliate link, so if you do uh, click the link and buy those feet or anything else through Amazon, buy that link. Uh, a little bit comes back to the channel so we can produce more videos, and it costs nothing extra to you. And remember the ABCs of making, always be creating. Until next time.